Hi there, Aries. This is Astro Girl, and thanks so much for tuning in. This week, March 10 through 16, we enter a very watery, earthly surrounding. And as a fire sign, both earth and water put out fire. So you may feel like being in the background a little bit more this week. And I think that's a good idea with Mars, your ruler, out of phase. And as I said, with so much uh, Pisces, Sun, Saturn is in Scorpio, we have a Cancer moon at the beginning of the week and a Virgo full moon on Sunday. Now, Virgo full moons is in your sixth house of hard work, dedication, health and well-being. And it's really going to make you realize that if you haven't been working hard at work or working out hard, just merely mucking around at the gym or when working out, and if you haven't been paying attention to your health and well-being, that you're going to really get quite a wake-up call over the weekend and over the next couple of weeks where you realize that you want to get in shape, that you want to be fitter, that you want to be more punctual, that you can flirt and scheme and zing and zag your way in out of work late and leave late, but one day it might catch up to you and one day you'll realize that you are taking advantage and this is probably the time when you will realize that maybe it's enough. Virgo full moons are no-nonsense full moons and they really make us take a long, hard look at ourselves. And I think it's coming at a perfect time because 2014 has been extremely rocky to say the very least. It's been difficult for anybody to really get much done. We've had a lot of retrogrades, and this month, of course, Mars is retrograde and Saturn is retrograde, but they're planets that don't affect us on that day-to-day -day basis as much. So concentrate. Pisces, Cancers, Scorpios, Virgos, all very important connections for you creatively. Virgos are always great for uh, helping out. They'll always help you out. Good to go to for advice. They're calm, whereas you are not so calm. And as I said, full moons are all about closure and bringing something to close. And I think what this full moon is about is you finally getting yourself in tip-top shape, personally and professionally. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again next week.